Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Marie. Today we're gonna talk about a beautiful skincare brand. This video is long overdue, but it's actually been purposeful that I've been waiting to post this video until now. Simply because these products I feel like really suit the fall, winter, spring season. Now, to truly understand this brand, we're gonna have to take a trip. A trip to Mongolia. Are you seeing this beautiful countryside? Are you wondering where Mongolia is located? It's actually situated between China and Russia. It is largely a plateau with an average elevation of about 5,200 feet. Some three-fourths of Mongolia's area consists of pasture lands, which support the immense herds of grazing livestock for which the country is known. The country has a marked continental climate with long cold winters and short to cool hot summers. Did you know that domesticated animals collectively, which include sheep, camels, cattle, goats, and horses, vastly outnumber Mongolia's human population? In fact, 30% of Mongolians still lead a nomadic lifestyle. Now imagine a beautiful young woman who's traveled the world and returned home. She finds herself with skin allergies. So she goes about trying to do something about it. And she starts to stumble across her own natural ingredients in her country. And like any beautiful, impactful founder story, she decides to create the products she wants to use. So what was born out of a need has blossomed into a celebration of the beauty of Mongolia. I give you L'Amour Skincare. All right, now the first product I wanna talk about is their soap, because their soap will lead us directly into something we have to talk about, and that is their use of animal byproducts. Remember what we said about Mongolia is that the country is known for its animals and 30% of Mongolians are still leading a nomadic lifestyle, still very intertwined with the cultural practices that have been in place for thousands of years. So before you place any judgment on them, please respect that Lemur is actually a celebration of the Mongolian culture. They use the animals in a mindful, conscious, sustainable way. They are making soap in the way that it's been made for thousands of years, using ingredients like tallow, which is animal fat that's been rendered down to create their soaps. And what blossoms out of this mindful use of animal byproducts are amazing products for the skin. So when you think about their use, like I said, of the animal products, please be considerate of the fact that, that it is a beautiful expression of their culture. And I'm very sensitive to that because I have grown up in a place where there's an indigenous people that is still fighting tooth and nail to practice their culture. So when I use these products and I experience them, they're so beautiful to me because it's an example of people living out their ancestral heritage. Okay, so what I got to try was their soap collection box that actually comes with their honey and oatmeal soap, their charcoal and pine tar soap, and their sheep's tail fat oil soap. My, I, They had two little pieces of each. My husband actually stole the other charcoal and pine tar because he loves it so much for his face. So I told him, don't steal that, and then I looked today and he's stolen it. Um, they're luscious. They are unscented, they are highly conditioning, they have the most beautiful, creamy, tight lather. If you are a soap lover, you will love these soaps. They're very well priced. I'm going to put the link below to where you can pick them up. Okay, the next thing they sent me was a spray soap. This was one of the products I was really excited about because my kids and I travel around to a lot of parks here that have no soap in the bathrooms. Don't ask. And I particularly love this soap because it's a liquid soap, because it's in a spray bottle, and because it's a low lather formula. I really love low lather for children because it's very respectful of their skin. 
So if you're not sure what low lather means, I'm talking about the similar to a Castile soap or Dr. Bronner's, like when you're using it, it's not making this big fluffy lather. Um, but like I said, I love that for children, especially their hands, because you're not having any skin breakdown or irritation. So I would highly recommend this product. I've featured it in a lot of stories. I love it. The next product that I loved for my kids was this healing salve. It has the tallow in it, so it's gorgeously lush. It has thyme oil. It has a nice, very light smell to it. So like I said, we've been using it on every kid scrape and mosquito bite, and I've actually been kind of putting it on their temples at night because the thyme oil is said to boost immunity, especially in kids. So the last thing I wanted to mention is that for almost 1.7 ounces, it's $10. Such a beautiful product to have on hand for children, and it's $10. So the next product that I've really fallen for is their hand butter. It has some beautiful tallow in it as well. Uh, it has some emulsifying wax, sea buckthorn that they source from Mongolia. So if you keep a jar of body butter by your bed at night, if you constantly have your nails done, if you wash a lot of dishes, you need to pick this baby up. $10 for 1.7 ounces. It's got sunflower oil in it. It's got the tallow. It has a nice emulsifying wax. So you put it on and it has a nice staying powder. Powder. It has a nice staying powder without being too heavy. I really enjoy that product. It's totally been a standout for me. Now the last product I want to talk about is their body butter. This is almost four ounces. And look at that color. Sea buckthorn berry, baby. Look at that. So the reason I haven't dipped into this too much and the reason I wanted to save this video till this time during the year is because this product is very luscious. However, around this time of year, I know from my brother who lives in Seattle and also works in Canada, that skin gets really stressed, particularly skin that's getting frequently washed, particularly, um, gets dry and cracked, and this is gonna be your skin savior. My brother's coming next week to visit, and I've actually been saving this for him, because last winter, his hands just really died, and um, he was calling me, asking me, what should I be using? Um, and so we were talking the other day, and I'm like, I can't wait for you to come, because I'm gonna send this product home with you, because I know it's gonna save your hands over the um, winter time. And one of the things about tallow that's included in all of their products is it has a really nice fatty acid profile that's really supports um, healing skin and repairing the moisture barrier of the skin. So as we head into this colder season, this drier season, I highly recommend these products. Um, I mean, I recommend the soap for any time of year and the hand butter for any time of year and the healing solve for any time of year, but like like I said, like this beautiful, gorgeous four ounces of body butter that retails for $26. You're getting ingredients sourced from Mongolia for $26 and such a gorgeous product. I mean, highly recommend. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time, bye.